Hey, moron! <laughs> hey, moron! <laughs> look, look, look at me! I'm the Woo Waterboard, dude! What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, things are a little bit better here in Cowboy Land now that we finally have uh, popped the cherry and uh, opened up the champagne because we finally made a move. That's right. We finally made a move uh, signing Eric Kendricks. Now, uh, a couple things you might notice that are a little bit different than what you've seen here before is we've done kind of a little bit of an upgrade here. We've added, uh, similar to at my main studio um, at my house, we've added an extra monitor so that way I can have people like literally over my shoulder here. And we are coming down. We are counting down. We are at 98,542. We are less than 1,500 subscribers. So shout out to all of you subscribers that have been part of the channel, that have been watching me since 2016. Well, actually, since 2012. That's when the channels originally started, when I originally got on here. But nobody really paid attention until 2016, and it wasn't that many there. So I want to say thank you all for watching and being part of it and being a subscriber on the channel and things. And we will continue, even though we are part of the Moron crew of new media, we will continue to try and bring you the best news on the Dallas Cowboys. So, interesting thing here, interesting to say the least, is Stephen Jones. Stephen Jones, and I'm going to still be working on getting things together here. Look at, oh, wow, there we go. Stephen Jones. The thing I have to say about Stephen Jones is, unlike his father, is you may not like what he has to say, but he's not going to bullshit you. When he says, we believe in our guys, he means that. Now, here's the thing. I'm telling you. I, I'm, 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 I'm actually I'm going to try and not be so negative. I am actually going to believe that maybe there is actually a plan. Because, you know, we're expecting the Cowboys to do something different than what we thought that they would normally do. Which is buy into getting, you know... Um, big name free agents. And I think the calculation here is they believe it's going to need to be wholesale changes that we were actually rebuilding or retooling the whole defensive front as well as the running game and maybe some of the offensive line. So here's the thing. When you look at Navelle Gallimore, when you look at Dante Fowler, when you look at um, Dorrance Armstrong, they've been good players for us. Now, I don't see $15 million for Dorrance Armstrong. I'm glad that he got that. But the Cowboys definitely couldn't afford to pay him that one. Now, there is a thing called VSB or something like that where if you sign a guy at a veteran minimum, you can actually pay them more. Like, for example, if the veteran minimum is like $1.1 million, you can end up putting incentives into a contract that can get them to like $2.5 million. But your cap hit will only be about nine hundred eighty. And the thing is, is bringing in a guy like Kendricks and letting Dorrance Armstrong go means that you will get a compensatory pick next year. This is a way of getting some extra picks. This is, of course, as Stephen Jones would say, a value add. And you have to look at this from the standpoint of Eric Kendricks. And I can pop this up on the screen here for you guys. Um, Eric Kendricks, when we look at his numbers. Oops, sorry. Wrong one. I got so many damn buttons to play with here. Eric Kendricks, for example... When you look at his career here on the number of tackles, 92, 109, 113, 108, 110, 107, 143, 137, 117, the guy's made tackles. We look at Leighton Van Der Esch, in his career, he's only had one year that he was over 100. Now, that was his rookie year, and it was fantastic. But when you look at his best year beyond that, 
was 2022 with 90 tackles. So at the moment, and, and here's the other thing about Eric Kendrick, at the moment you have to look at this and say he stays healthy. Okay? So honestly, this he, he's not the guy he was in 2019 when he was a pro bowler. But if we can get 117 tackles out of him and he plays the whole season, we are much better shape at linebacker than we were. If we get overshone back healthy, we're in much better shape than we were last year. And I think this is the calculation that the Cowboys are looking at. It's like, look, we don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a couple of free agents. And for example... Odell Beckham Jr., after one year of getting $15 million a year and him signing a big $50 million contract, Baltimore's letting him go. So maybe there is a method to the madness. Now, Stephen Jones responds. Let's listen to Stephen Jones here. You know, I think we're having to make some tough decisions right now. Obviously, I mean, this is an organization that's uh, been built on great backs, whether it's a Tony Dorsett, a, a Herschel Walker, an Emmett Smith, a, a Zeke Elliott, a Tony Pollard. Uh, you know, we, we've been big believers in the backs. I think uh, they bring a lot to the table. Unfortunately, we're at a point where we're having to make some, some decisions and, uh, in terms of where we allocate dollars. We allocate dollars to a guy you know, like a Kendricks that could come in and help in an area where we felt like we were short. And, you know, we feel like there's some ways, going to be some ways that we can address the running back situation in a more efficient way. But uh, uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, certainly, uh, you know, a lot to be played out between now and the first game next year. I don't think you win a, a Super Bowl championship, uh, you know, on the first, second, third day of the league year. You know. So the question is, does he have a point? Does he have a point there? Oh, wow. Look at, oh, damn. Shout out to the new channel members there. The question is, does he have a point there? Is he correct that, you know, and we've seen a lot of teams. We've seen a lot of teams the first days going out there and grabbing people left, right, and all that. But here's the thing. Have you seen Kansas City out there grabbing anybody first day? Big name free agents? No, you haven't. You certainly have not. So this is where maybe, just maybe, there is actually a plan here. You know, Stephen Jones lets you know, hey, look, you want to um, be upset? You know, we get it. We get it. Um, but maybe, just maybe, there is some hope. So I'm going to kick back a little bit, watch the numbers grow here, and when we do get to... 100,000, we'll just have to do like a live stream party for all you guys. So we're going to keep here listening and seeing what the Cowboys do. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you. Hello.